All right, it is time to reset and refocus for an epic 2022. So what's the very first tactic, the very first tip I wanna share with you? And it's to identify three key things. It's called start, stop, and continue. What are you committed to starting? Now, what does that mean? You know what that means. It's something that you keep on saying you're going to do and you never do it. A procrastinator. So for Jan, the start is, I'm embarrassed to say it. Oh, boy. The morning routine that I swear by and I know I love it. And since the beginning of the year I've been doing I identify what my routine is. I don't, I'm not so rigid in my thinking that it has to be five things. It's just taking to me. I've defined again, less is more simplifying things is my theme. One of my themes this year, starting something and being disciplined with it is to, it just simply means that I'm not jumping out of bed in the morning and jumping right into uh, work. I am doing something for myself to get my mind right or to my body right. So that could be meditating. It's been walking for me on uh, my gym. I finally got my pass to go over to this gym of where I work. So it's whatever it is. It's some activity that's between 30 and minutes and an hour first thing in the morning. That's my start. You got to start, Matt. I, it's just getting, it's, I think getting back into the routine. See, I, I, I'm married. Well, to is a, that a continue? You're a walker. So is that a yeah, continue? I, I, I'm married to a school teacher. So that has three weeks off around the holidays. And I have a hard time when she's home doing my normal stuff. Um, so for me, it's to get back into the routine, right? It's to get, it's to continue a lot of the stuff I'm already doing, but it's to get All back right. into it. So All right. stop so is anything that you want to not do. That's not working. Now I want you to look at these personally and professionally. Is there something that you need to start and then stop? Or stop, like stop doing, like you know it's not good for you, or it's like it's been helping you procrastinate, or whatever it is. Identify something personally and professionally. Um, and for me, on the stop, it's winding down at the end of the day and disconnecting. You know, um, I am going to stop. You know, continually looking on my phone or doing all those things because I realize the importance of sleep, and I've been changing my patterns a little bit. Um, so that I could unwind, unwind a little bit better and get a better night's sleep. Okay. So it's, it's disconnecting and then continue is what are you doing? Well, that's working for you and keep doing it. Right. So start, stop, continue in each area, personal and professional, and then commit to 2022. If to, to if you're going to commit to 2022 being your best year ever, which is what I say every year, it's going to be my best year ever. I have to say it's about taking action daily. And I just mean small steps forward yeah. and consistently doing it. And I'll do a shout out to Darren Daly, Dar Darren Hardy. I listen to his Darren Daly uh, little quick podcast when I'm walking, actually. It's, it's very motivational. And then I listen to some other things. The Compound Effect, that book, it's brilliant. It's because it's basically saying just do one simple thing all the time, consistently over time, and you'll get these huge results compared to the person who, you know, does the crash dieting or yeah. I'm going to go do this. And then they're over here. And then, you know, if we just line two people up, that book is filled with examples of tortoise versus the hare, line two people up. And the person who's consistently doing something that is going, it makes the biggest gain in the, in, over time. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. And, and I, for me, it's a work in progress because I have this, I have this tendency to, to keep on taking things on and doing more things. And I have yep. to keep reminding myself to stop. That's another thing. Stop, you know, onto something new. It's choose the things that are fun that I'm enjoying and be consistent with it. It doesn't have to be massive. You know, it's funny yesterday. I, uh, I always, I wake up at, kind of in the middle of the night and uh, there's some stuff I always have to do. And I was going back to bed because uh, I usually will go back to bed for a couple hours. And then that's like the end of my, you know, my horrible sleep pattern. Don't, don't ever get into the pattern that I'm in. But I went back to bed the other night and I, I had all of a sudden my mind was flooded with about five or six things that needed to get done. Right. Or things that I've been kind of putting off over the holidays. And now, you know, I have no excuse anymore mm -hmm. and I could not go back to sleep. So I and it was I woke, I got up and I was like I had anxiety. It was like, what the heck is happening here? So I said to myself, I wrote them all down, first of all, 
because I didn't have them all in where they needed to be to where I could actually check them off of a list, wrote them all down and said to myself, OK, which one are you going to do right now today? Right now, at six o'clock in the morning on Monday or Thursday, whatever day it was, what are you going to do? I did it. I checked it off the list. I felt better about that. And instead of going in and trying to tackle everything, I said, okay, you know what? We're going to do that one tomorrow. You're done for the day. You did your thing for today and you're good. You're going to get these next things done in the next week. Right. And I felt so much better just by doing that one thing. So small steps are so important. Just start now, I, thank you for saying that because you just summed up what was happening for me like a month or so ago where I was feeling anxious. I was having yeah. anxiety over all the things that I had to do. And I was, it was really, you know, impeding me, you know, yeah. like I wasn't sleeping well and I'm hundred percent on with that. So there we go. You just, this is why it's all about get it out here and, and work on it and do this reset. That's so, right. so look, there's two things to focus on here for this committing to your 2022. Number one, it's to commit to your goals and outcomes. And to do that, you got to write your goals. <laughs> you got to write your objectives, your outcomes, keep it simple, whatever it is. We have an, a complete you know, course on that, a free course that you can take, but do it in all areas, personal, financial, career, business, relationships, and spiritual. Just write your goals for the year, but make a commitment to them. And we've just been sharing with you ideas of how to do that. It's, it's having that daily routine and so forth. And number two, commit to your personal and professional growth. So yeah. this is the, time of the year that I like to go, all right, what obviously complete and follow your business plan there. It goes without saying, and then what courses or events I'm always working on some things, listening to podcasts. So any books or podcasts that you want to listen to on, on an ongoing basis, but is there some kind of course or event or training? Do you want to go take some training from somewhere this year online or live in person? Uh, we have courses, but there's a ton of great, personal and professional development. I'm working on both. I'm, I've signed up in, in a couple courses. I'm continuing to learn how to do video better. I'm, I'm doing a personal, uh, a spiritual sort of development course right now, which I, I like getting back to. But I think that's important to identify and maybe uh, put that on your list as well. All right. And some final thoughts for an epic 2022 that are, that are helping me. These are the things I'm really uh, – have set my goals and stuff around is to focus on listings, right? Listings, listings, listings. We're still in a very low inventory market. Mm -hmm. All the experts are saying it's going to continue on here and maybe into 2023 before we start seeing a little bit more inventory. So you got to focus on listings. That's, that's going to help you get more business and everything that you're doing in your marketing and all that ought to be around that. In my opinion, I am, I'm, I'm looking at my goal is 75% of the business coming from listings. Uh, so focus on listings, be the local market expert and leader. I mean, gosh, I just love that part. Yeah. I do it all the time. I'm always working on it. It gives you confidence. It shows up in everything that you're doing and but you have to put the work and effort into it. And, and uh, you know what? Can I say something about that? You, you do, you thrive in this zone of, uh, of your business, but you know what can really help you in this? And I think what really got you really turned on with this was let's go back to what we talk about all the time is that freaking monthly newsletter because you yes. statistics in your monthly newsletter yep. you become the local market expert because you know what's happening in that real estate market so you know this might be kind of daunting to look at or a great kind of uh kind of uh, out there goal but you can tie this directly to a lead generator that's going to do two things it's going to generate leads and you're going to become the, the market leader so that's a brilliant one and you know what matt based and to your point instead of passing on something that you might receive from somewhere right company a title company you know you, when you have to go spend the hour to do the stats and put the presentation together, then record it in a video, you you start to really get it. You yeah. can turn around and say our average sales price has gone up ten thousand since last month. You know because you're doing the work, and it, it did develop a habit. You're one hundred percent right, Matt. It's one example of one simple thing that I did. I committed to it for our Vegas team. I'm going to expand this now because now we're going into micro areas because we're all we all have local market experts um, for different areas. And it's not that hard to do now. I'm doing it right now for Ve for uh, Vegas and for Florida. But it, I love it, right? And now you do love it, and it's fun to talk to. I always know when you're doing the newsletter because you are you've got a little bit more pep in the step. Yeah, and it, and it can then parlay into just one on one confidence in talking to somebody. But when you now have a newsletter and you have a video and it's now out there, 
and it starts growing and growing month after month, it can help bring that credibility of how you are the local market expert. So the point is becoming an expert is daunting, is daunting. We just gave you the easiest path to becoming it is just do, do the newsletter. Hundred percent, and you're going to get business at the same time. <laughs> and then, of course, you do better at staying connected to your database. I already shared uh, some ideas. We oh. share them all the time. It is easy to just, you know, do the monthly newsletter is the main one. And then uh, remember, people reach out to the people that you know for a birthday or an annual market analysis, maybe a client event. Keep it simple, but have some quality touches that you're doing. Um, to your database. I, I, I also forgot to mention in, in some previous videos that we've done, get back to it. And I just talked to somebody about this. Sending out just lists and just solds to your database is a really powerful way to let people know that you are busy. You know, you have listings so That's that right. you're in the real estate business, not just sending them a newsletter. Uh, choose your two to three lead pillars, right? So you're going to stay in touch with your database and you're going to choose another couple that you're 100% focused on for me. YouTube videos, YouTube videos, and more. I'm also committed to listing marketing. And listing marketing to me means every time I take a listing, I'm holding open houses, I'm doing mailers around it, and targeted mailers um, in my farms. Okay, so I'm, I have two farms, and the YouTube videos are, are tying into all of that. But my I want to do more video. So that that's, that's my focus. And how do I choose to do something that's going to allow me to leverage video? Right. That's that's where my head's at. And then do the daily. I love do the daily. Right. I am uh, committed to the daily. It's your morning routine. It's uh, you maybe have an evening routine as well. Maybe you're, you do both. And and then it's making sure of everything else that happens on a daily basis. It's whatever, however you get the day started and some type of lead generation or follow up daily. That's it. If you just did those things, I think personally, I'm going to prove it out this year. If I consistently just do that, do my morning routine and do some type of lead generation, I believe I will have an epic 2022. Everything else will fall into place if I get those things done. So there it is. Let's talk about resources. We have resources. Let's recap our resources for you. There's some total free resources starting with My Path 2022. I am integrating this. See, we have a thing called Do the Daily. Right and there. I absolutely love it. It's uh, designed on the way I was doing it for myself. And so now I'm um, putting those together in a little booklet, Matt, and that is my daily guide. Sweet. Or what my things are. And there's things like a tune up, a high level uh, look, you can get a list of your, who your people in your pipeline, all the things that you need at a finger. And I'm, I've decided to go back to this, this style of a book that I have. Okay. Used. Gotcha. Um, and it, it has an area where I can always refer to it. You can put it online as well. I'll have it up online, but I don't always have everything online. I like still having, paper. So now, this is actually an Excel spreadsheet that you could load up to Google Drive if you wanted to and use it as a Google sheet. And so you yep. can, you know, access this anywhere. You just figure out what's going to work the best for you. Right? Exactly. So that Oops. that's to help you with, uh, you know, everything you need. We have a great branding checklist. This will help you with everything to to do a refresh on your brand and make sure you're you've looked at everything online from online to your you know your paper marketing pieces we have an epic checklist i i love this epic checklist it, this is designed for new agents it's designed for seasoned agents it's designed for agents who are maybe transitioning from one brokers to another and it's broken down into all the business systems but they're the first couple pages are have you done the basics do you have a voicemail do you have you know email all the way through uh, all the business systems that we coach and teach. I love and it's a nice system. little writable PDF. So if you don't want to print this out, you can just keep it on your computer. Yeah, it's in my book, right? And I've been, I've been checking it off and it's in this book and I'm checking off the things and it helps you get back to like Matt was talking a moment ago. Uh, I got a million things to do, but today I'm just doing this one thing. And that's what I do with all these systems. I, I pull out into the daily, do the daily. What's one thing I'm going to work on this week or today that I can get done. That way you're not overwhelmed. All right. And then you have progress. Um, Get our free mini course. If you haven't done your business plan, it's never too late. Go get our free mini course, Agent Fundamentals. It's basically module one of our Real Estate Sales Builder program, which is, is our fundamental all-in-one powerful course designed for agents of any level. There's so much in there to help you just get everything on track, all your business systems in place this year so that you can truly have an epic wouldn't that be nice? And you can find all of those resources, both free and our, our, our regular paid courses over at WBNLcoaching.com because our goal Yay. is, as always, for you to line, connect, and 
prosper. Prosper. I want to exactly. prosper. I am prospering. I don't you are prospering, and it's a wonderful thing. I am prosperous. <laughs> <laughs>